Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill, and today you're watching the first episode of Backyard Grilling. And what's Backyard Grilling? Well, simply put, it's just a series that we're running here on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill where we're just going to be grilling, whether it be here on our new Weber kettle, yay, or the pellet grill. So today we're reaching once again back, way back into the archives of my mind. It's a crazy place to be. You, know, you really don't want to be there. But with that said, we're doing patty melts. Back in, uh, like I was saying on a previous episode, 72, 73, 74, we were living in Cheney, Washington, about 20 miles south of Spokane. And we were poor. Look us up in the dictionary from that time. You'll see a picture of us. And about once a month, we'd go visit my grandparents, and they had every Saturday hamburger night. And I loved hamburger night. It was my favorite night of the week. Well, on the off weeks, we would have hamburger night also on Saturdays, but instead of a hamburger, we'd have patty melts. Because while we had lots of bread running around, we just didn't have any buns. So I think that that's probably where a patty melt came from. So first thing we're gonna do, take our lid off, and we're just gonna throw some butter down here on the Cuisinart. Because we're gonna cook up some onions. This is kind of how I would do a patty melt if I'd have known this back in 72, 73 time frame. We just kind of get these bad boys going. And while they do their thing, let's start on the patties. Not related to Patty Joe, my buddy down in Australia. He's got a great channel too, guys. You gotta check it out. I'll put a link down below. So, as usual, take a ball of hamburger. Smash that bad boy down. Give us some shape. Do it again. Now keep in mind, because of the hamburger, the fat content, these things are gonna shrink a little bit. That's why I like to go with a little bigger ball. Yeah, Chris, I said that. There's your Chris moment. Because we are gonna get some shrinkage. Chris, you know what that's all about. So there we go. We'll smash it down a little bit more. Perfect. So we've got everything going. I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll be right back. So we're about two minutes into this cook so far. Let's just move our onions around a little bit. We're gonna add some, like I said, back in the day, all we would have had was salt and pepper. This is if I were doing it. I'm going to add some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake to it. Give him a flip. Looks like a Ferengi Marauder if you're into Star Trek. Smash him down a little bit. I do have the, the grill on low. Let him cook up a little bit more. Move our onions around a little bit. We'll give them another minute or two, and then we're going to throw some cheese on these things. Grab our tongs. Give these things a little bit of a flip. They're actually looking really good. They're getting close to being pulled off. I'm gonna do is put a piece of Swiss cheese down, let it melt. Shouldn't take too long. You 
see our cheese is already starting to melt. Make sure this is on low. The onions, another little bit of a dust up here. At this point, I also have some cheddar cheese. Back in the day, we would have just had Velveeta cheese or whatever. So in the meantime, I'm just going to take some Jewish rye bread, butter it up, put it off to the side here. This won't take very long to cook. Pull our onions off. I think they're done. Give our bread a check. Ooh, coming along nicely. Heck yeah, liking that. This is our cheese is all melting up. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Uh, let's check the bottom of that. That's looking good. Nice, perfect. So I'm just gonna take one of these, throw it on there like that. Then we're just gonna take our onions, put it over the top, like so. Take a little bit of lettuce, throw it in there. Like I said, this is my version of it. Grab some mayo. A little bit of mustard. Now you could throw, I don't know, pickles on this if you wanted. I think that's what we had as a kid. I love pepperoncinis. Throw some pepperoncinis on this. There you go, guys. That's patty melt right there. That is one good looking sandwich. Cut this in half. Try it out. Mm -hmm. That's a great patty melt sandwich. Mm. Wow, that's really good. That's probably better than anything we ever had as kids. You'll go well with this, a beer. Jesse from Beer, Barbecue and Baseball. This is for you, brother. Sockeye, Lager, Lonesome Larry. Well, I'm gonna try another bite. Mmm. That's got a ton of flavor. Everything comes together. Uncle Steve's on that is amazing too. You really get that out of there. All right, guys, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that dinner bell, as my buddy Rob says, if you want to see more. We got our Chris moment in twice. Sorry, knows what Zoe up to, or your Zoe moment. Recipes down below. Thanks everybody again for watching. Remember the dude abides this time with patty melt right out of the 70s.